there were several uh, things that made, the C, uh, made us join the Seaford uh, uh, group. Uh, one and the foremost uh, important thing is to join the group of mega cities. So Islam is also growing at a very high speed. And uh, we believe that Dar es Salaam being the major contributor to the national GDP, then we are sure that if we can change in Dar es Salaam, then most of the, Dar es Salaam, most of the Tanzanian uh, people will change. And the Dar es Salaam is affected, affected very much by the impact of, of climate change. Uh, we can give some examples, for example, in the year 20, towards the end of year 2012, we had a very uh, big floods in Dar es Salaam, which affected people and uh, most of, some of the people, uh, people's life were, were, were claimed through the climate change. So this is why we said we have to join this uh, group of winners, so that we can also use the methodologies and the share experiences, learn from our colleagues on how they uh, fight against the impact of, of climate change around the world. There are many projects that we are implementing in Dar es Salaam, uh, which are climate change related uh, projects. Uh, the C40 is uh, actually dealing with uh, around seven thematic areas. Dar es Salaam have, have, have picked several of them and we've already started implementing some of the projects. Uh, one is in on the area of solid waste management where we want to change our, 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 our dump site to be a uh, modern landfill that is aiming at, pro at, at uh, producing the renewable energy for the city and also to, uh, to develop a composting plant that will uh, produce fertilizers from the uh, market-related uh, products. On transportation, we are currently implementing the rapid transit, which I think in, 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 in Johannesburg has already, been, has already started. We are expecting that towards the end of this year, maybe the first phase of the, of the project will start uh, operating. Uh, from this uh, project, we expect to reduce around 3,000 uh, private sector uh, driven buses, which are polluting a lot of environment in the city. We'll introduce the, um, uh, the, the buses that are um, compatible to the climate change uh, fuel, etc. In regards to the community slum areas, we are, we are upgrading uh, slum areas in the city of Dar es Salaam, to, which is in fact involving the community to plan their self, themselves, and the city is assisting in, upgrade, in upgrading by putting relevant infrastructure, putting markets, and also involving the community in, 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 the, in adaptation of the climate change. The citizens in Dar es Salaam actually knows a lot on climate change because it has claimed some of the life of the people. And they are seeing the, 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 impact, the, the impact of the climate change. Uh, the, 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 the floods related, the droughts, as well as the, um, some of the uh, lung related diseases which are coming right now. That implies that there are a lot of emission of, uh, of greenhouse gases in the, in the city. So the city uh, actually known, uh, knows the, the, what are the negative impact of the climate change. And we, are, we have already introduced the greening of the Islam city. And uh, we are involving uh, the community in, 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 in collecting some of the uh, market related uh, waste and they turn them, in, compost them, so that they can use the same in, in urban farming. So they see the results, they create jobs through uh, small groups that are farming, producing some vegetables, uh, and small, small crops in the city. We can learn from the Johannesburg's uh, strategy to accommodate the private sector buses and taxis within the framework of the public transport through the BRA team. Uh, that is a challenge that is facing Dar es Salaam right now because the private sector uh, who are owning buses, I mean private buses in the city, do not want, they are resistant to the introduction of the BRT. So we want to learn the methodology and, uh, and the techniques and the strategies that Johannesburg used to engage these people so that they accepted the rapid transit in this city. But again, I'm not sure how did uh, Johannesburg uh, worked with the slum areas in this city, but I think our approach, which, is, which has been financed by the World Bank, can be also 
a learning lesson to the Johannesburg on how to involve the community in planning themselves so that they accept the project and the infrastructure is, 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 is constructed within this, the areas that are slum and some of the people are accepting on their own, willing to, to remove their houses so that we can uh, construct the drainage system, we can construct the, the roads, communication systems and markets, uh, water uh, services, etc. So I think they can learn from the community imp improvement, uh, community infrastructure upgrading project which is being implemented in phases in Dar es Salaam.